Hi again, welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter Resale channel. Today we're back at Goodwill on the hunt for items that I can sell online on eBay and other platforms. The shelves are pretty full this time around. However, I didn't find anything right off the bat like I sometimes do. This is a piece of fused glass. With fused art glass, usually you try to find items with signatures, like with Peggy Carr and others. This piece I put back, it did not have a signature after trying to find one. putting this back as I could not make out the maker and I wasn't sure if it was a student pottery piece or a studio pottery piece. This looked to be recycled glass, however it was not marked and I was not sure who the maker was on that. These were a pretty good score. I got these two art glass mushrooms. They don't have maker marks on them, but um, one I believe is rainbow art glass and the other one is a vintage Blanco mushroom. The yellow spots glow on that. That yellow mushroom already has sold. This here is also another piece of fused art glass and it does have the maker on the back. So I did pick that up. Some art glass I leave behind, like this art glass fish. Um, I believe it was made in China. I have quite a few pieces right now that I have not been able to move. This is a vintage 1970s Dave Grossman lion a figurine or statue. I probably could have left this behind. I was debating it for quite a while. At $14.99, it was probably not the greatest buy, but I can still make a little bit of profit there. They had a lot of cute dog figurines or knickknacks. They didn't have much in the vase or pottery planter area this day. They had a couple of pieces that if had they been a little bit cheaper I might have picked up. This was a little high at $8.99. I have a couple already on my eBay store that have yet to move. This is another studio pottery piece. It's a stoneware, I believe, bunt pan or cake pan. Um, I couldn't find a signature on it, so I did leave that behind as I have quite a few tureens or uh, baking dishes right now. I thought this was a cool find. 
It's a vintage dresser box or jewelry box. And at $4.99, you can't go wrong. I was looking into these. Um, one of them had the sticker there. You could probably see it. And I believe it's from Czechoslovakia. But I ended up putting those back. And then I found this fish art pottery bank, which I love. I had some ornaments that were similar to this that sold very well, so I thought I'd take a chance, even though I couldn't find a signature. And here was a signed piece of crystalline, I think is how you say it, or crystalline pottery. So I grabbed that for sure at $10.99. This was probably a mistake purchase. Um, there's still a little bit of money to be made at $2.99, but it is a telefloral vase. Um, I believe they call it Moulin Rouge. That was definitely vintage, but a lot of the paint was worn off of that. And this wall plate was pretty heavy and there was some chipping on it. Thought these were cute, but $3.99 a piece, so I wasn't sure. Being that the 4th of July coming up not too far away, I was interested in these items, however, the price was too high. I haven't seen these in the black before, so I initially put it in the cart, however, I do end up putting it back before we leave. This face didn't have a maker's mark. So I end up putting that back. And this art glass fish was personalized, so that would limit the market, and I put that back as well. At $8.99, I couldn't justify that price. These are fairly common glass figurines or sculptures. They don't move very fast, so I left that as well. And this had a mark on the bottom. I'm not sure what it was. Um, I didn't really look into it too much, being that there was just one. Let me know below if you know who makes that. And I thought this was cute. I do pick it up initially and put it back as the resale value is not very high. Just taking another look along the shelves in case I missed anything.
another more modern art class vase. Spotted these cute mushroom noodle bowls or rice bowls. Mushrooms are pretty popular as I said earlier in the video. I did grab both these sets. And I found this Deneen Studio Pottery chocolate pot or teapot or coffee server, whatever you want to use it for. I usually see the mugs quite often, but I don't really see the serving pieces like this. And you'll see that I have that in the cart still. I do end up putting that back, but then I also picked up this fish wall pocket planter. It's more contemporary, so I had put it in the cart and had it in there for a while and ended up putting it back because I decided against it. They had some interesting lamps this day. And I grabbed a couple of them. I didn't show you me picking them off the shelf, but they're at $10.99 each. One is in pretty good condition. There's no damage. The prisms are all there. And then one of the lamps has a missing prism and one chipped one. So I'm gonna try to look into getting those. I haven't listed them yet until I get those pieces and then I'll probably sell them as a set. On this art pottery pig bank they sell pretty decent they take a little bit to sell and I found these metal snap-on socket wrench mugs and that is it here's your recap thanks for watching and I would love it if you could hit the like button and subscribe or send me a comment. Help the channel grow. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.